Okay, this is a part two to this uh, whole fan, um, series of videos that you're gonna see uh, me how to custom room stuff, how to do stuff, and I already said in the, the like the intro part. This is a how to install T TWRP recovery, and uh, we need to go through four four major steps. Step one: unlock your bootloader. Step two: find your device's TWRP. Um, Step three: Download Odin. Step four: Let uh, boot uh, let boot into OS and factory reset it. That's very important. Um, yeah. So I here I got the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 because we're going to be doing this on the Note 8. So we need to go into settings, uh, about page, uh, software information. Tap the build number five times. And then go into Develop Options and find the tab called OEM Unlocking. If your phone doesn't see OEM Unlocking, you need to be connected to the internet and set your um, set your date one month ahead or one month before the patch update. So, for example, in this case, it, it would be um, 1st of August, so a month before that or a month after that. It should uh, appear. Otherwise, uh, your phone can't be unlocked because it's locked to a carrier, for example, or something like that. But yeah, you need to, need to enable OEM unlocking. Warning: This uh, device protection features will not work on this device while the this setting is turned on. Turned on. There you go. So your OEM is unlocking. Uh, your OEM is unlocked. But the problem: if you have a Google account on your device i.e. for example I do my test account you need to go into accounts take it and remove from your device so now you done your first step you unlocked your bootloader now uh, boot your phone to uh, download mode by uh, turn off your device first And then hold down the big uh, volume down, big speed and power. Oh, I didn't see it because of the glare. There you go. You get this warning page, very dim for some reason, but you get this warning page that says, a custom OS can cause a critical problem in a phone and it installed, uh, installed applications. If you want to download a custom OS, please uh, press the volume up key. Otherwise, press the volume down key to cancel. I need to press volume up and you're gonna see right here you go you met two of the correct cr 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 areas that you need to uh, the first one you need to have the uh, OEM unlock off and second one you need to have OEM uh, FRP lock off to make it work so you have this phone now into the state that you need and you successfully did it if you didn't do this successfully, you need to redo what I said or try to find a solution on the internet how to specifically find uh, a way to um, uh, get the bootloader properly working. Because sometimes it is very annoying. Um, but now, the fun part begins. Now we need to serve the webs on a. Um, no, we need to surf the interwebs to find the uh, a your t uh, to find the, your device's TWP. Now we're on step two of the major steps. Well, it should be part there. Yeah, it's charging. Um, what you're usually going to be like looking for is uh, writing T TW. TWRP and uh, your device's uh, device's name, for example, Note 8 for me specifically. There, for example, you need a specific Exynos one if you're doing it on a European F variant. That is uh, how you can verify if you look at the thing you can see right there 
It says SM-N950F. F is usually a European uh, international and is a Exynos variant. So you can just uh, freely download this from any anything and uh, I recommend usually to download the you need important you need a dot tar file but uh, otherwise uh, you can uh, pick I usually pick one model uh, one uh, version slightly older because the new version usually is a bit iffy and you can put it somewhere you need wherever you need to put it but I don't want to say into the download folder but since I have it already downloaded, I don't need to do it. Second piece of software that you need to download is a uh, O the uh, Odin. It's O D I N uh one three point one four. And you can download through the official download source of Odin. It's actually a fun fact about Odin. It's a piece of software made by Samsung, and uh, they um, it's like an internal tool that allows you to reflash phones. That's why there's like a bunch of um, slots for the same phone you can reflash. But yeah, uh, you need to have uh, Odin. Since I already have it downloaded, I don't need to download it again. Um, so we open Odin. We open, uh, we find the file in question that we need, and we need to put it into AP specifically. As you can see, not, that's the, the S8. Uh, I need a great um, code, uh, code name for, I will give a list of um, devices for what, like, uh, we're working with this uh, guide, the code names for each device. And here. You got it? Cool. Continue. Uh, great LT or the great is the uh, Enodate's um, code name. We get it. And now we plug in. Oh yeah, uh, another thing that you want to uh, probably do, or you can do it yourself, but um, auto reboot disable, or you get your hands ready to boot into recovery. That uh, depends on how you want to do it, but I'm going to do the easy route for you guys. Um, so turn off the auto re re reboot, plug in the phone, as you can see, it's been recognized, and just start. There you go. So recovery is now uh, flashed. By how you re uh, reboot into the new recovery is by holding down the volume down and power. And then I uh, immediately hold down the big speed and volume up and power at the same time. You should see. There you go. If you don't see this, repeat the uh, repeat the steps again. But now, allow to modify. And uh, you probably want to. Um, I don't know from here. Let's just reboot the system. I think so. The system gonna be corrupted right now, right? Because of it gonna be boot looping. I hope you enjoyed this video of uh, how to install custom uh, recovery. Next video, I'm gonna show you how to install a um, a custom OS now on that.